junior high, I ran cross country, and then as soon as I got to a freshman, it was kind of like almost just focusing on wrestling, and that was really my soul and only thing I did. But I mean, academics-wise, I do a lot more in that than sports, I would say. So I have Drew, he's uh, 15, he's a freshman. Um, so I have one year with him in high school, so that's pretty cool, it's been pretty cool. And then I have Knox, who is 10, and uh, he's just a ball of fire, he's crazy, but he loves wrestling too. He's, he's better than both me and Drew already, so it's gonna be fun watching him. Has Drew tried to take a shot at the title yet at you, or is he? Um, yeah, we don't really wrestle competitively, I guess. We, we just wrestle in the room, but it's not like, fighting and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of just drilling and making each other better, so. Um, Fort Dodge, um, I would say it's one of a kind for sure. I mean, I don't think any other town is like this. Um, I have friends that come visit and, and they love it right away. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely, it was just really tight knit group here. And I think that it's a lot different than any other, any other town. So I love it here. Um, I mean, it's awesome. Just coming in freshman year and we had such a high standard and it was already such a high standard. I think that's what helped me grow ultimately. I mean, when you come into a place with such a high standard and you're you're just one of the, you're not a big dog per se, you're not a leader on that team, you, you just tend to grow and that's what I do anyway. So like, now that I'm a captain on the team, it's, it's still the same. And I mean, the standard for everybody is so high. And so I just think that's what's making me so much better each and every day. It was always, when we were little kids coming to the practices, we would always look up at those and just be like, wow, that's cool. I mean, they won this in 1985, and that was the last time. So now for me and my friends and my really family just to get on that poster it's, and have our own up there, it's, it's awesome. It's crazy. I mean, at this school, I think everybody would have a positive impact on me. There's no really bad teachers here. I really enjoy all of them. But uh, one that's helped me the most in high school probably is Miss Winter, my physics teacher. She's a really good teacher and she, she helps me a lot, so. I would say all my coaches, just like the teachers, I mean, they do a great job, but I think one that I have a special bond with and I'm closest with is probably Tanner Utley here at the school, so. Me and him are pretty close, he helps a lot. I would have to say my dad and my grandpa, just because, I mean, everything I do in this sport and just in life is for them, I feel like. I mean, I just want to make them proud and obviously for myself too, but two of those big reasons are both of those guys. I mean, just to make them proud and stuff is means everything to me. So, I mean, those guys do the right things each and every day, so. Yeah, I mean, I remember coming to a packed gym. I don't remember who they wrestled, but we were, I was really young and um, I was like like eight, nine, I, I don't even know. I was just really young, even maybe younger than that. And I remember coming to watch Riley Lindner was one. He's my, he's a relative of mine. And so he was really good. And then Cole Clarkin, another guy, um, he, I remember watching him and he just tore it up. So it was awesome. Being a better person really. I mean, it's not about wrestling all the time. It's about being a better person and getting our schoolwork done. I mean, if you were to listen to our speeches our coach give us, I mean, a lot of time it's about like school and getting our grades up and just doing the right thing in class. And even like the kids that are having rough upbringings and stuff like that are on our team, like we help them to like respect the teachers more and more. And I think if you were to go and notice that, like, I mean, it's, it's noticeable, like the kids that have rough upbringings that maybe weren't very respectful in the beginning that are now wrestling. And I think it's changing a bit, so. Just really repetition and just keep going. I mean, there's a lot of things that you might have to sacrifice to get to the point to be really good. But I mean, just really just just having fun with it, sticking to it, and just putting a lot of time in. I would say. I would say I'm not perfect by any means. I mean, I didn't. I don't win any everything all the time. I mean, like I even lost earlier in the season. So I mean, that would be a point I would say. And then another point would be like state finals my freshman year. And um, just really, yeah, those two, I would say, sticks out to me a lot. I mean, it, it, I handled it pretty well, I thought. I mean, I realized I'm not perfect, and yep. no one is. So, I mean, everyone makes mistakes, and I'm only going to get better from this. So I just Absolutely. treat it with that mindset. And 
opportunity to grow. Yeah, for sure. So right here, I mean, this really describes me as a wrestler, I'd say. I'm pretty sure I know what happens, but I mean, I was, I was up three to one, and I, this is a nationally ranked kid, and it was a finals at a tough tournament. I'm just pushing the pace and trying to score another one, which I'm pretty sure I do in this clip. Yeah, I do. So yeah, I mean, that just describes me as a wrestler, I'd say. Just extending my lead and just building that gap and just getting better each and every time out there, so. Where was that match at? That match was in Council Bluffs. It was a Council Bluffs Classic. There's like 30 teams there each year. I mean, we didn't get to go this year because of COVID and stuff, but yeah, it's always one of my favorite tournaments and toughest for sure, so. That's great. And after that match, I mean, this would've been your junior year? Yeah. So how did that, uh, recruiting-wise at that point, were you still being recruited or did this did this match kind of propel you coming into that junior season or? Um. So actually, I mean, coach. I mean, coaches were already on me at that point. I think even at that tournament right there, the Michigan coach was there, the Iowa State coaches were there, I think, and even the North Carolina coaches were there. So I mean, they were already on me at that point. But yeah, for sure, I mean, that helped winning that. So awesome. And is that uh, training with Seabolt? Yeah, I'm training with Seabolt. Very nice. And how's that process been going? It's awesome. I mean, he does everything for me. It's it's crazy the jumps I've made going there and. And now we got a new coach, Justin McClintock, that goes there too. And I mean, those two just helped me a lot. And I'm very thankful for it. When you walk into a building and you get a lot of looks because you're wearing a Fort Dodge sweatshirt, but you know it's a good look and you're happy you're getting that look. That's a great answer. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say that because, I mean, everyone knows what you guys are about. And some people say dirty dodge this, whatever. But I, I mean, I like it. I like embracing it. It's, it's fun. And that doesn't mean embracing it in a negative way by being disrespectful, because that's not what we are, but being respectful and just letting our athletics or wrestling do the talking. For sure, just hanging out with my friends. I do that a lot. I mean, on weeknights when I'm bored, I play video games with Call of Duty right now, but I mean, there's, there, I mean, I like snowboarding too. I've kind of gotten into that recently, but haven't been doing it much just because don't want to get hurt and stuff. But I mean, I like that. I like fishing in the summer. I mean, really versatile. I do a lot of things. So yeah. So recruitment. I mean, it was it was busy for sure. It was it was stressful at times. But I mean, I, I know I made the right choice, and I'm going to be um, attending the University of Iowa to wrestle next year. And uh, I'm currently undecided what I'm going to do, as in school wise, which is important, but I'll figure that out soon, so. In four years, hopefully I'm continually getting better at wrestling and as a person, and hopefully I'm doing good in school at Iowa and having success on the mat too, so. Absolutely. What does it mean to be an Iowan? An Iowan? Tough, gritty, just really from the Midwest, I mean, when you go out to those national tournaments, there's kids from Cali and stuff like California and Florida. They're just like all slick. And I just like being from Iowa. We're tough, you know? We like this cold weather. We, we embrace it, so I like it. You know, and in regardless yeah. of who the opponent is, what is your goal in first period? What's your goal? Is there a process of first, second, third, where you want to be? Okay, so I would say period one, I mean, that would be like, so what my coaches and I say is like, punching them in the mouth is what like, I don't know how, I tried to figure out how to say that without saying that, but I really couldn't. No, that's great. <laughs> it's basically just like making your mark right away, you know what I mean? Like getting on them and just, God, I don't know really how to say it, just punch them in the mouth. I mean, just knowing, just getting your hands on them right away and they're like, so make them say like, oh crap, all right, we're, we're You're doing this. The yeah, yeah, setting the tempo, setting the tempo than the standard. Um, and then I would say, obviously you're still using your technique and stuff like that, but period two, I would say um, just going with your technique, just like the whole match, but just really wearing on them, what I would say. I mean, the second period is where you wanna put on your points, or really all, the whole match. I mean, I don't really break it down, but if I'm breaking it down right now, I'd say the period two is just wearing on them and get them tired, staying on their head and stuff like that. Um, and then period three is just going to be one word, that's pace. I mean, I'm, that's what I'm kind of known for in wrestling, whatever, but I mean, period three is where you, really where you can make your money and where it can make or break you. I mean, 
that's what I would say. Um, that's when they're tired and that's when you're you're feeling your greatest. So that's when you score a lot of points. Figure all. Yeah, there we okay. go. <laughs> when you get to period three or an overtime like that, mm -hmm. how do you mentally prepare yourself? Um, I don't think there's really a special formula per se. I mean, I don't think you can just do this, do this, and mentally yeah. prepare you. I think it's just kind of built in you and what you grow up doing. And I'm the kind of guy like nothing's given to me. So I mean, when when they take that took that point away, whatever, and it was three to three going into overtime. I mean, I was just had a smile on my face. I was ready to go. I was excited, and it was it was time to do that. I knew that. So. Yep. So you have that confidence that you know you're gonna outwork them. Yeah, for sure. You know, third period that they're not gonna outwork you. Yep. That's awesome. That's awesome.